Hi friends, scooch on in for our special time together today. We are going to talk about the book of Exodus. First there's Genesis, then there's Exodus. So this is the second book of the Bible. In the book of Exodus, God pays attention and sees that his people are their slaves. And God doesn't want them to be slaves. So he calls on Moses and says, Moses, you are going to lead the people out of slavery with my help. And so the book of Exodus tells the story about how God saves the people, the Hebrew people, from um, Egypt. And they come out and they're not slaves anymore. But once they're not slaves, they don't have a home. And so they are in the wilderness. And what do they do in the wilderness? They're trying to find their way. While they're in the wilderness, they cry out to God and say, we are hungry. What are we going to do? And here's what God says. This is in Exodus chapter 16, verse 4. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to rain bread from heaven for you. And each day the people will go out and they'll gather enough for that day. God rained bread down and people went and picked it up and they had what they needed for that day. Not for a whole week. No, no. God gave them what they needed for today. That's a beautiful thing. God keeps providing for us. God provides what we need today. Have you ever thought about when we pray the Lord's Prayer, it says, give us this day our daily bread. That means what we need for today. So I got out this piece of bread and I was really excited about it because it makes me think about filling my belly and making me happy and full. Mary Margaret was so excited that she even took a bite out of it already. Today during communion, we're also going to eat the bread and drink from the cup and remember Jesus' love for us. All of this comes from God. God giving us what we need today. So as we pray the Lord's Prayer and as we share in communion together, I want you to remember that God gives us all that we need and provides us for today. Even when we worry and think about what's going to happen tomorrow, God is with us here today. And God will be with us tomorrow too. But remember, God is giving us exactly what we need for right now. Let's join together in prayer. Gracious God, thank you. Thank you that you do give us all that we need for each day. Thank you that you are present in each day and that you are paying attention to where we are and what our needs are. God, help us to pay attention to the blessings that you give us and to be thankful for the gifts that you give us in this day. So God, please give us this day our daily bread. Amen. Thanks, friends. See you next time.